Welcome. Today we're going to talk about transformations that are rotations. So a rotation is when you turn something a certain number of degrees in a certain direction. Now there are two directions. There are clockwise and counterclockwise. And if you have a clock, clockwise goes numerically around. Counterclockwise is the opposite direction. So from the top to the right is clockwise. And the opposite is counterclockwise. So top to the left would be counterclockwise. Clockwise tightens, counterclockwise loosens in most cases. All right. So if we're working with this and it says 90 degrees, 90 degrees, turning 90 degrees is that. All right. So I actually suggest that you turn your paper. Currently, this is where it is. Now ignore the Y and the X for now. When you turn it clockwise 90 degrees, where does L end up? It ends up at 1, negative 1. M ends up at 1, negative 2. N, these are prime by the way, N ends up at negative 2, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 5, negative 2, negative 5, and K, which I should have put at the top, ends up at negative 3, 0. Now when I turn this back and I plot these points, 1, negative 1. Uh, let's see, that was L prime. M prime is at 1, negative 2. N prime is at negative 2, negative 5. And K prime is at negative 3, 0. Now, I'm going to, hopefully this, when I rotate it, it's rotating at the origin. There are other possible uh, situations where it rotates at a particular point. We are not going to be doing that. All ours are rotating at the origin. All right, so if this rotates, and hopefully it does, all right, no, it, it's shifted a little bit, but there you go. You can see there, now if that rotation, if this was just on the block, then it would, but because of this being part of the shape, it didn't put it in the exact spot. All right, so there is your answer. And of course, when we put this back, and we put this back to here, now it's in the right spot, and all I have to do is connect them up. Now, if, when you do this on your own, um, you can turn, figure out where a point is, turn it back, and plot that point. Because um, you're going to have a physical piece of paper. I'm going to connect these dots up. And here we go. And there is our answer, and we know it's correct. So that is how you do rotations. There's a clockwise rotation. It is helpful if you don't have a physical paper to turn, um, that you turn the worksheet virtually. You should be able to do that. Um, and then make a list of the points and where they end up, and then turn it back and plot those points. Okay, so give this one a try on your own, and unpause when you're ready. All right, here we go. I'm gonna unpause and 
clockwise about the origin. It's 90 degrees. Let's see. W prime, X prime, and Y prime. W ends up at negative 3, negative 1. Y is, uh, sorry, X is at negative 1, negative 5. And Y is at negative 4, negative 4. I'll move this back. Sometimes they just ask what quadrant it'll end up in when you rotate it. Um, and you can see this is going to turn it this way, so this is going to go that direction, 90 degrees, so it ends up in the third quadrant in this case. All right, W, negative 3, negative 1. Uh, let's see, X is negative 1, negative 5. And y is negative 4, negative 4. Connect up. I think all the problems I give you on the homework tonight are triangles, but some of the examples are quadrilaterals that I give you today. All right, let's look at the next type. Counterclockwise rotation 90 degrees. Same kind of thing, but turn to the left instead of to the right. All right, so I'm gonna do that with this one. I'm gonna turn it to the left and figure out where it is. Let's see, um, J, I, J, K, L. I, J, K, L. up at negative 1, negative 1, j, negative 5, negative 3, k, negative 4, negative 5, and l, 0, negative 5. I move it back and plot those points. We know it's going to go from quadrant 2 to quadrant 3 because it's going this way. And uh, let's see, uh, negative 1, negative 1. Negative 5, negative 3. That was I, J, K, negative 4, negative 5. L is 0, negative 5. L prime. Connect them up. want to try on your own. After you unpause, I'll show you how to do it. All right, here we go. Counterclockwise. Ooh, got to grab the right spot. Um, let's see. G-H-I-J. G-H-I-J. G is now at 0, 3. H is at negative 3, 3. I is at negative 5, negative 2. And J is at 0, negative 2. I turn this back and plot the points. Let's see, 0, 3. Negative 3, 3. Negative 5, negative 2. 0, negative 2. Connect them up.
easier to see. Much better. All right. And there's your new um, image. Now it says 180 degrees. Uh, which direction? And the answer is it doesn't matter. Because whether I turn this 180 degrees here, quadrant one, or I turn it 180 degrees this way, it's still quadrant one. So it does not matter which direction you rotate it in if it's 180 degrees, or 360 degrees for that matter. It'd just go back to where it started. All right, so we're talking about I, J, and K. See, I ends up at 4, 5, J is at 4, 0, and K is at 1, 2. Let's rotate it back and plot those points. 4, 5, that's I prime, uh, 4, 0, J prime and one two K prime and we'll connect it up. And there you go. You give this one a try and that'll wrap us up for today. Alright, we'll check this out, 180 degrees. G, H, and I. G is at negative 2, 4. I is at negative 5, 4. Oop, that's, that's I. And uh, let's see. H is at negative 5, 3. All right, let me turn this back. Boy, it's fussy. Close enough. All right, negative 2, 4, negative 5, 3, and neg, oops, that's 2. Negative 5, 3, and negative 5, 4. And now we'll graph our line. And there you have your triangle. And that's it for today. Have a great day.